Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, let's keep going with the gold market analysis. So it really was the interesting investigation of the truth picture on the gold market in the weekend and Monday. So we, we were able to estimate that in fact we have bearish passion here and we suggest that market should uh, take out of these lows on the daily chart, which significantly increased chances that this market could return back to this area and in fact even we could get this big butterfly passion to the downside it's potentially so uh, currently as you can see market keep going lower yesterday with these pullbacks on the intraday charts we have got the first chance to add more and take the short position with this grabber so we discussed but currently market is coming to support where we theoretically could get another bounce so if you're still would like to take the short position on the gold market this might be an area where market could show the pullback and you could consider once again uh, resistance areas on the intraday charts to make decision on the possible position taken. So on the 4 hour time frame chart you could see that market now stands at 1825. Here we have clear bearish signs. First of all this acceleration down on this leg. Right? So uh, hopefully we get the pullback but who knows. It's maybe just straightforward downward continuation, downside breakout. Uh, yesterday on the 30 minute chart we explain why we uh, why, why this performance is wrong and this part of market behavior tells clearly that this is bearish picture it's just because we have ABCD retracement with a strong upper performance and the ABCD upper passion on the fall time frame chart and naturally market from this strong support area if you remember this was the support agreement it has to reestablish our protection if this bullish here we see that has hasn't happened so market is trying to show the pullback showing some minor reaction then return back down this is bearish sign and you can see continuation has fault that was the chance to take the position on the on the resistance that we considered yesterday this was a confidence resistance around 1845 area and uh, take a look at the nature of this action it seems here we have the stable growing pressure to the downside Market shows a bit choppy action, but it keeps, well, just take a look, straightforward downward action. So it means that some stable selling exists behind this type of action, and it uh, always has the hazard of unexpected and surprising fast acceleration down. So this might happen. Not even, I not I not want to say that will happen right from this area. It's just the I showing the just the way how it could happen. So something of that sort, so minor action and then acceleration. So here is also it might happen, especially if market shows no bounce up from the predefined level. And in currently, as you can see, market stands not at not just at the support, but also this agreement area with this XOP, so eighteen twenty seven, so eighteen twenty five, eighteen twenty seven agreement, where we're watching for a pullback. For a position taken here, we see two interesting levels. First one is 1832, next one 1836. But in current environment, well, and taking into consideration the way how market behaves here, it seems that more chances that market will reach pullback only to the 1831. So this minor pullback might happen. But still, there's still two levels uh, to watch for and just keep an eye on the five minute chart, the, the shape of the upper pullback. If you'll see clearly some ABCD patterns or maybe 1836 also could be considered. On the 10 year yield, although we see the pullback here, which is supportive for the gold in general, but market is flirting with the daily MA city. And if by the end of the session we get the bullish grabber here, it suggests that rates has to jump above the 3.5%, which automatically means the acceleration on the gold market. Because currently, guys, Gold market stands in a tough time, not because of the lagging and decreasing demand for the gold in per se, but just because the market needs vitally needs liquidity. Fed has closed uh, the store for the liquidity. It's just turning to quantitative tightening. Um, 
stopping pre buying back the bonds. Interest rates are rising, and uh, more than the 70% of all debt that was issued in the United States dollar is a debt with a floating rate. Correspondingly, rate is rising, and you need more cash to serve the debt, paying the coupons, uh, and uh, make the redemption of the bond. So uh, that's why you could see the drop on the forex market. It's one of the reasons, not of course the major reason. And all the other markets just because they are just victim of the triangle liquidity. First of all, this is most risky assets such as the cryptocurrencies, and stable coins and so on. Then in stock market and gold, as you can see, also stand on the impact and the dispersion low, although, although at a bit less degree. So um, that's what we have on the gold currently in two, work, in two words speaking. We are not considering taking any, any long positions for taking the new short position. If you have taken position here, just move stops to the break even and see what will happen next. For those of you who would like to take the new position, watch for these two levels. Uh, or either split your position or wait for a high level or whatever you like. So that's our view on the gold.